So let's go quickly to Romans chapter 10 and verse number 17. So then faith, everybody, so then faith cometh, cometh. Now that word cometh is a continuous tense. It's not one time. It's continuous. Just like you open the tap and the water keeps flowing. So also faith has to be continuously flowing. It cannot be stagnant. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The two earrings have got two different names. One is Logos and one is Rema. When you hear the word of God, the first earring it's called as Logos. And when you hear the word of God, the second time it's called Rema. Now let me explain to you what's the difference between a Logos and a Rema. Logos is the whole Bible which is written by the Holy Spirit is Logos, Logos, God speaking to us through his written word, praise God, that's Logos. But when God's word speaks to us from inside out, it becomes a Rema word. For example, now when I'm speaking to you and you're hearing it with your ears, it's Logos. Now what you heard when you recall it and the word begins to speak to you, begins to give you a deep enlightenment, a deep biblical understanding, it becomes Rema. Now when the Rema word comes, the Rema word produces supernatural results. So what you are writing right now is just a Logos. But when that word speaks to you, one of the classic example would be a person who is sick goes to the doctor and the doctor gives him a bad news. He hears it once, it enters his heart. But what he has heard, he keeps meditating and the word begins to speak to him over and over again, all negative things. Right? When the person keeps on meditating and hearing the negative things, he is drawn with negative emotions. Now what is happening? He is hearing a voice from the word which is producing extreme fear that leads the person into depression. In the same way, the same intensity with which the word speaks to us that produces fear, in the same way the word of God, when it speaks to us from inside out, it produces faith and that faith is called the biblical faith and this comes through the Holy Spirit's enlightenment or the Holy Spirit's understanding and that's why to get a rhema word a person first has to have logos a person has to first spend time quality time with the Lord and now the word will begin to speak to you and that's how the rhema word comes praise God